And here we go. So I am down at McHenry Corner. Blah, 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 blah. Let's try that again. So we're down at McHenry County Orthopedics. Uh, they just cut off one cast. Uh, took some x-rays, said everything is still aligned perfectly, so I am good to go with no surgery. Unfortunately, I am going to have to wear for a few more weeks these little buddy tape finger things so that my fingers stay aligned and I can't shift the tendons too far out of the line because that'll pull on the bones. And then I'm in a smaller cast, but at least, like, I can grab stuff now. So that's a plus. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, three weeks like this, and then I'll be in a brace for a little while. But I guess uh, I'll take what I can get. So I am going to uh, start heading back to the land of the cheese. And I'm going to meet up with uh, Mr. Mullis. We're gonna go and uh, find my trailer, my dump trailer. We're gonna throw his snowmobile into the trailer and he's gonna bring it over to uh, Dan, the guy who just did all the work on my sled. Uh, my sled, I dropped it off just cause, well, I'm super screwed for working on it, but I dropped it off and I had this guy, Dan, who's uh, been a long time mechanic of my buddies on all his sleds. I dropped my sled off to him. He did new bogey wheels, uh, two of them. He did a uh, flap and the new snow flap because that was fucking shredded. Um, he did, I'm trying to think, carbides, high faxes, plugs, new belt. So, I mean, he went through it all, made sure everything was good. The motor, he said, is super solid and uh, real strong yet had 145 pounds in both cylinders which is what Michael and I got when we bought the sled so we tested compression that night too so um, overall he said it's a really good runner and uh, in pretty good shape so now I can take some time to more or less clean it up this winter and hopefully get out and up to the UP but I'll try and get some footage of the Mullis and I trying to get his snowmobile loaded up into the trailer and then we're going to go out to Burlington and basically just do a flip-flop. We're going to drop his off, pick mine up, bring mine home. Maybe I'll do a little rip ski on it for you. And then, uh, yeah, life will be good. So I'm going to get to driving and I'll catch you guys in the next clip and we'll see where the day goes. It's just going to be kind of random. So whoop de frickin' do At least I have a hand back. Yeah. I can almost flip people off again, but my fingers are stuck together. All right, enough goofing around. I'm heading out. I'll uh, see you guys in the next clip. Bro, I need I need help. You gotta go on that side. Yeah, bro. Of course I'm fucking YouTubing right now. Dude, I got you some food. I, uh, this is really hard to hold the camera, but I can at least hold it with my left hand now. So we're over at the, uh, the Mullis household. Anybody want to buy a snowmobile, he asks. I don't know what he's so fucking worried about. I think he's being a bitch. Let's, let's talk about it, YouTubes. All right. Well, why, uh, do you want? Okay, you want to talk about it here? Let me right here. let me do this. Let me uh, let me flip this around. I have some concerns. He says he has concerns. For one, it seems like she was ridden pretty fucking hard and put away pretty freaking wet. Yeah, and it's a decent amount of for 3,500 miles. That is a lot of freaking rust. Hashtag all salt. All this shit's broken. This is broken. This yeah, is broken. That's... This is broken. There's pipe dope on the gas tank. Oh, we didn't see that. No, it, we, it's because we bought it when it was dark out. And there was also negative 30. This is missing shit. This is fucking missing shit. Well, all the air boxes you, do that. When you freaking start it, it makes some like really loud ass clunky noise. Um, it's got fucking exhaust leaks there, which I realized that some of these things aren't a big deal. Cracked hood, it's leaking oil. <laughs>
She's fine. I don't know what the fuck that noise is. I think it's just worried. I think I'm worried I'm gonna bring it to the mechanic and it's just gonna be like, yeah, so basically. So basically what I would do is I would bring it to the mechanic and I would say, all right, go through it. Don't do anything until you call me. And then he's going to call you and he's going to be like, oh, it needs uh, high faxes. It needs maybe some paint touch up because it's rusty and overall it's a good runner. And you're going to be like, all right, sounds good. And then bang. He's fucking pyro. I don't know. He got into it super cheap. He's into it for like no money. So I so think let me fine. let me tell you my. Super, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just stop right <laughs> now. I'm gonna stop the video because my McDonald's is getting cold because it's I bought it in Harvard, so it's getting cold. So I need to eat this quick, and then we'll resume what we're doing for the rest of the day. That's the plan. Is that the plan? That's the plan. That's the new plan. All right. See you in the next clip. <sighs> okay, so we have two snowmobiles in the back. Mine is all fixed up and happy and ready to go. And then we have Adam's sled. Yeah, my sled. <laughs> so Adam today found. Dude, there's a bunch of old semis. In yeah, dude, you line. never knew that. I'm gonna go back there. A steel one steel and make it up. That way we can have a semi. So, all right. So where we're at. We stopped over by Dan. Uh, he looked Dan over the is sled. Kind of the man. Dan is, he's sharp. He's he knows sharp. his shit about these sleds. I guess he's been working on them a long time, so I guess you could, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But whatever. So he looked it over. He said the motor is good running motor, has good compression on both sides, so that was good. But he's, you know, you're probably looking to make this thing look good or make it run well and the stuff that he picked out while it was in my trailer strapped down um he said probably somewhere in like the five to six hundred dollar range so on the way here adam found uh another 2002 zr 800 but the, the catch is this one is blown up but conveniently there's a good motor in a shitty sled back there and this other sled is 800 bucks, and it's got a gorgeous chassis with a blown up motor. So we're kind of thinking that maybe Adam buys two snowmobiles and turns them into one snowmobile and then parts out or scraps the other one, and then life is good. So uh, the shitty part is it's in Platteville, which is kind of a run, but nonetheless probably still worth making the run because if he's gonna have six hundred dollars and have a good running shit sled he might as well spend eight hundred dollars and have a good running nice sled so i mean the the chassis is definitely mint i will throw that out there it is a good looking chassis so adam's trying to wheel and deal on the price right now it's my favorite thing to do in life how's that going he hasn't responded yet of he's gonna he though and he's gonna take the deal because i'm the deal maker He's the deal maker. So yeah, that's where we're at. So uh, we're gonna unload both of these snowmobiles at my house and chuck them in the garage. It's gonna be a good time because my garage is definitely not big enough for all this. And yeah, then we may be taking a road trip out to Platteville. So all oh, the McDonald's. McDonald's. Dude, we'll make a bam bam. We'll do a bam bam. And for Adam, a bam bam bam. <laughs> yeah, really, bam 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 bam. <laughs> I, I bought all that McDonald's this morning thinking that he hadn't eaten yet, but turns out he already had some uh, fast food breakfast, so I brought him more yeah, fast food I breakfast. Of, I feel like crap. Right he doesn't now. feel well. This is all the perfect recipe for a road trip. Yes. All right. I guess uh, you'll know what we're doing in about 3.5 seconds. Oh, can't turn with this hand. Video update. Holy shit. Um, it's, it's been like a couple hours since we last hours. posted, but yeah, it's been essentially a five hour journey so out to, oh dude, I got to pee so bad too. Um, it's been a five hour journey out to, um, Platteville, 
we have, you can probably kind of see it when I go like that. We have another snowmobile wedged into my truck right now. Um, just threw her ass end up in the air and slammed the shit out of the tailgate. That was good enough. Um, and now we're trying to figure out what to do with three snowmobiles. Uh, we might try and shove all three of them into my garage tonight. And then Adam's other employer, his weekend employer, uh, used to be an Articat tech. Convenient right now. I understand why Adam bought Articat instead of Polaris. But he used to be an Articat tech and he threw Adam the option of just swapping the motor uh, into the good sled on Saturday after they're done working. So we're trying to kind of sort of figure out like what we're going to do with all of them, but I think they're all going to land in my garage for now and then we'll probably just throw both of them in the dump trailer and take it over to the shop if so facto that's a good idea. Um, and Brian says yes. So we're probably just going to try and chuck all of them in my garage tonight and then we'll go from there. But uh, there's going to be a lot of lime green in the garage tonight. Kind of ridiculous. Yeah, but right. I'll chase you on the Polaris. You're fucking right you will. <laughs> I'm fucking wind too. Uh, what do we want to do now? Do you think just go to the ditch with this fucker right away? Nah, I think we can get it out. You think we can get it out? Yeah, I feel all right, he says he feels pretty good about him and I. Keep in mind, I'm broken. Just lifting it out. Also, DC is not an option because... Oh, hey, look. There it is. There's the other ZR. She probably shouldn't back into anything. She is uh, She's pretty good looking, I will, uh, I will say that. Much better than the other one, so... Oh, this is going to be fun. I'm going to have to hook up to the plow to fucking get this shit. All right, we're just going to stop there. So, yeah, um... Yeah, I also have to pee. Um, so, yeah, right now at the Barry household. Oh, fuck it. I'm going to just run over here real quick. This is going to be a really long video. It's going to be like my first 20-minute video, I think, because, like, this is getting excessively long. There's a lot of clips involved. i fire up those, too. So, now that I have all the lights on and we can see what's going on, we have over here. An Articat ZR800. No, the lights aren't on. That's my cap light. Articat ZR800 that is just like wedged into the bed. Also, let's see if we can check out this carnage. Uh, that's uh, a block or a crankcase uh, somewhere. There is this suite you can't see, but the one piston is totally fucked. Um, all right, I guess Adam is getting ready to do shit. No, you should be good. So yeah, that's that. And then over in this corner, we have another Articat ZR. Conveniently, a 2002 model with uh, the cross-country package and the Polaris Pro X. So we have three snowmobiles that we have to figure out what to do with tonight. So I'm going to open up the garage. We're going to start unloading shit. We're going to see if we can wedge three snowmobiles into the uh, garage tonight. But first, I got to pee, so I'll keep you updated. Uh, that's a five minute clip in itself. This is going to be a 30 minute video. Good news I did not, fuck, I did not re break any bones. Still in one piece in a welding glove. I can't get that off, but it's still good. Um, let's see. We got. An empty truck and an empty trailer and then somewhere over here somehow some way we managed to fit two ZRs and one Polaris into the garage it is a little tight but that is okay so this is the um, gonna be running sled because right now it's missing all of her guts but she's in pretty good condition really i mean decently taking care of sled uh, the guy has some time and money into it he did a seat cover um, a couple new parts here and there i just had the suspension all rebuilt so pretty solid sled except he put 10 miles on 
the uh, Platte River and blew it up somehow. And by blew it up, now that we're here, by blew up, I mean, well, there's a crankcase and you can see all that nice shavings in there. Uh, and then there's a decent sound there. And then, wow, look at how much shit is missing on there. Would you do me a favor and uh, just flip that over? Let's get a real good look at the, uh, the carnage. Good cylinder? Holy fuck. She's dickered, boys. She's dickered. So, anywho, that's that. So, um, all three of them are in there. The uh, Pro X is home and looking mighty fine. Um, life's good. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, chuck all these here videos together in a sequence and uh, post it up to the YouTubes and that way you guys know what's going on in the life of FF Barry and FF Mollus. You know what I should do? I should probably just put this thing back together because the guy said it ran. So I should probably just put it back together, put it in the shit sled, and just say, fuck it. It's a running like, sled. I don't know, it's running rough. I don't know what's wrong with it. Just play stupid. Yeah, he is stupid. Anywho, we're going to get uh, get this all closed down because we got to work tomorrow. So it'll be a fun time, I'm sure. But we did manage to get three snowmobiles into the shop and the simplicity. But it's full. There's no walking room. Standing room only. Signing off? Signing off. We're signing off. All right. Take her easy.